Hi, my name is Chris Romano, and I am the product manager for the purging and pressurization products here at Pepper and Fuchs. Because of the ongoing supply issues that everybody is experiencing, we find ourselves with a problem with the 1000 and 3000 series panels. Now this is a 3000 series panel, but this also goes with the 1000 series panels. We are having issues getting this differential pressure switch and the regulator that mounts on the back of them. This unit. So what does this mean? We, this means that we can't supply 1000, 3000 series with a WPS option. Now, the advantage of using Pepper and Fuchs products is that we have alternatives. Um, for the WPS switch issue, which is a 1950 uh, Dwyer pressure switch, we have the option of a WPSA uh, option that will make it easier to uh, supply a panel if the customer wants a WPS uh, option. For the filter regulator, uh, since all of them use this filter regulator, there's only one that's used on them, uh, we have an option of the 7500 series MTD. And um, we'll talk about that in, in the later video. Now, uh, as you will see, even when the supply issues clear up, this video can still be useful for upgrading your 1000, 3000 series to a 7500 series newer system. You have to remember that this uh, 1000, 3000 series purge unit was developed in 1988 without any changes. So a lot of some of the items on here could be uh, get, coming to the end of their life and obsolete. So it may be interesting for you as a customer using a 1000, 3000 series to take a look at the 7500 series and uh, see if that could be replaced. Okay, for the WPS and EPSK issue, where we can't get this option with the 1950 Dwyer switch, the option, the best option would be the WPSA. Again, you could still go to the 7500, but for, for mounting it and uh, for the vent use and everything, it's better to go with a WPSA option. So with that, um, what are the differences between a WPS and a WPSA? Well, as far as mounting it and the vents that are used with it, identical. There's no difference. The WPS and the WPSA physically looks the same and they mount the same. Mm -hmm. Now the flows and the pressures for operation and purging are exactly the same. So there's no differences between the WPS and the WPSA. Now the reason why there's a WPS and a WPSA is the WPS is a group C and D rated uh, pressure switch. So this can only be, if it's a WPS option, it can only be used in a group C and D. Now if you have an A and B uh, uh, area, hazardous area, then you have to go with a WPSA. So from a certification standpoint, it actually uh, covers more of the groups. So there, there should be no real issues with going from a WPS to a WPSA. There may be an issue if you have it certified for WPS, your system certified for WPS, and if you go to a WPSA, there's a model change. And that's just an update to the certification agencies if you have the whole system certified. Now, the, uh, the differences with the WPS and the WPSA is the wiring. So as you can see on this diagram, off to the left, is the WPSA or the WPS option. And this is a dry contact output on the pressure switch. The pressure switch has a normally open, normally closed contact. And when you get below a certain pressure, which is unsafe, uh, it energizes and sounds your alarm. Very simple. Uh, the WPSA has the same uh, switch in there, a normally open, normally closed, however, they have uh, power to it. So you have to apply power to the WPSA and you get the uh, dry contact output. Um, now, as you can also see from the ordering of the WPSA, there's a voltage dependent. So the WPS, you don't really care if it's AC or DC voltages because you're operating an alarm and it's a dry contact output. 
The WPSA, you have to power up the, the, the switch itself in order for it to operate properly. So it's voltage dependent. So when you go from a WPS to a WPSA, you have to note what power you're gonna be using on the switch, the WPSA switch. And they come with 24 volts DC, 120 volts AC, or 240 volts AC uh, units. And as you can see here, when you order it, uh, so you can order the WPS, you don't have to worry about voltage, but if you put the WPSA option in there, then you have to designate what voltage it is. Now, if it's 24 volts DC, after the nomenclature, you put dash 24 VDC. Same with the 240 volts AC, you put a dash 240 VAC. Now for the 120 volts AC, you don't have to put anything in there because that's the standard that we use here in the States. So that would leave blank for 120 volts AC. So if you have a WPSA and a filter regulator issue, or you just want to upgrade it, uh, the 1000, 3000 series to a 7500 series system, the 7500-MTD is probably your best bet with a vent. Another solution would be the 7500-MTD. This includes the control unit, which is here, which you can also buy this control unit separate without it mounted onto the panel. But for replacing the 1000-3000 series, the 7500-MTD is probably your best bet. The 7500-MTD includes the control unit and the manifold system. And this has a ball valve, needle valve on it. And um, the ball valve is for purging and the needle valve is for pressurization along with the vent. Now you can see in the back that uh, how it's mounted, the control unit and the manifold system. Again, this is the 7500-MTD, which is mounted on this bracket with the manual system or you can get the 7500 control unit separate with the vent and with an automatic valve. Now, um, as you can see here, this 7500 unit does not have a regulator connected to it because that's not part of the certification like it is with the 1000-3000 series. However, you can uh, certainly buy this as an option from us or you can use your own filter regulator. Uh, so if we don't have it in stock, raw material issue, somebody else will, will have that available. The 7500 offers many uh, options that the 1000-3000 that the series does not. So um, as you can see here, uh, it has a nice display. It's a user interface display for different programming. Uh, the one thing, nice thing about the 7500-MTD is it's all manual with the, um, this happens to be mounted on an externally mounted system, but we can certainly have this as a panel mount. The, uh, these units are mounted with a ball valve and a needle valve manifold system, just like the 3000 series, ball valve for purging and the needle valve for pressurization. So it does the sa exactly the same thing, it's manual. You open up the purging and then the pressurization takes over. This requires power, but it's a universal power. So I don't care if you have 24 volts or 120 volts or 240 volts AC, uh, this is universal power, so you don't have to worry about that in ordering these units. However, they still require power running to it, just like the WPSA option. However, you get all, this, all these uh, individual displays that will tell you pressures, how much purge time is left. Um, it, it tells you the, um, status of the unit through the LEDs and so on. So we have many different options that are available there. We also have an option where you can get this without the manual valve and you can you go with a solenoid valve system where it has a solenoid valve and a needle valve and uh, you can take a look at that in our uh, website link here for the 7500 series which has the MTD's version the standard version and how to connect these automatic valves to the system. With an automatic valve, you can do a lot of things with it like cooling. You can do pressure as input, uh, meaning that if the pressure drops, it can energize the valve so that it gets the pressure back up before it fails. The other nice thing about this, the uh, 7500 system is it's globally certified. The 1000-3000 series is not globally certified. It's only class divisions whereas this is class divisions as well as uh, ATEX and ICEX. This also has a, a, a better uh, 
uh, temperature range. It has minus 40 C to plus 70 C, whereas the 1000, 3000 series is minus 29 C to 49 C. So it has a much better temperature range. Um, the other nice thing about the 7500 is it's universally mounted and one size fits all. So where you have a 1001A or a 1002 or a 1003 or 1004, depending on the size of the enclosure, this unit and this vent will cover all those size enclosures. And you can select the amount of flow you want by uh, uh, pressure versus flow curves and programmed into the 7500. So very simple to use, uh, offers a whole lot of options and allows you to um, be flexible with your system, whereas the 1000, 3000 series is not. So from an upgrade, 7500 series is probably your better option and it's less expensive. As you can see, these are some of the options we have for a better solution uh, for the Type-Z purge system, particularly with the 7500-MTD and the other units we have. As you will see, the, as the supply issues uh, improve themselves, we will be able to supply the 1000, 3000 series systems. As I talk today, we have uh, new switches coming in for the WPS, WPS option and regulators for um, the units. However, because this system is old, we're gonna be seeing more of this happening in the future. Uh, it would be better for everybody to take a look at the 7500 series to upgrade their systems to a newer, uh, improved, and more features for your applications. For more detailed information, please visit our website for purging and pressurization along with other hazardous protection products we have to offer. Thank you for watching and please like and share this video.